do they speculate that all of these different machines come from one particular group of entities or is there multiple civilizations that are visiting us? Yeah, they think it's maybe it's more than one answer. It's entirely possible um, because they, you know, the craft look different. The beings look different. The reports you get from all over the world over the decades, we don't really know for sure what they do look like because they can, they seem to be able to change their shapes, at least change what how we perceive them in our head. I don't know if they're manipulating our perceptions or what. I know people are going to like hear this and be like, oh, that's like this crazy leap that there are pilots to these things. All I know for sure is, okay, UFOs are real. We, we, we have technology that we don't know where it's from. We have been reverse engineering or trying to do that. I am solid on those three things. I am also solid on the fact that this has been held back from the American public, like no doubt, maybe for good reason on some level. But I also know that some of it's been done what we would call illegally. Now, that word is really like nuanced because of national security. Maybe it's not illegal. What makes anybody think that they just want to give up the goodies now and tell everybody what's going on now? The same tactics that's been used for the last 70 plus years on ridicule. secrecy, ridicule, all that right now is on hyperdrive. Has anyone come to you and described the different kinds of beings and how many they think there are? I'll give you a cool story. You'll like this. Okay. I, I talked before about the paper trail, how there is a document, a, a do, trail of documents that you can look at. There was a chapter in an, a textbook being used at the U.S. Air Force Academy. And until UFO people found out about it, it, this is what they were teaching our best and brightest pilots at the Air Force Academy. And that chapter said, in the course of your career as an aviator, you're likely going to encounter one of these things. Here's what we know about them. There are four we know that there are four different alien races visiting this planet, and they've been here for thousands of years. Now, that is blockbuster stuff to be teaching future Joint Chiefs of Staff members and commanders of air bases. When and was this that published? Matter. This is in the 1960s. So, but when <laughs> when word of that word crazy. when word of that chapter got out, UFO people found out about it. They pulled it. They yanked it out and took it out of the textbook. I'll tell you, man, I've been to the Naval Academy, got to sit in on an aerospace class. It was so fucking cool. And these dudes, I can not imagine what it would be like. They all have, to, all have to wear uniforms and stuff. And like, you know, what would that be like sitting there reading that chapter in your official textbook? Right? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And that there's four different kinds of beings. Well, how, did they describe the four different beings, George? Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. I'd have to look that up. I'll bet you Jamie could find that. I've chapter. only heard of the grays and the tall whites. Is There's the reptilians and Nordics. Here? Major Kil uh, Kilpatrick, the second ranking officer in public affairs, the Air, Air Academy, in a position to speak authoritatively for the Air Force. He admitted at once that plebs are taught from a text entitled... Introductory Space Science Volume 2 and an entire Chapter 33 deals entirely with UFO considerations. He quoted from page 455 that 50,000 virtually reliable people have reported sighting unidentified flying objects. This leads us with the unpleasant possibility of alien visitors to our planet. The 14-page chapter continues, or at least alien-controlled UFOs. According to the Academy textbook, if such beings are visiting Earth, two questions arise. One, why haven't they attempted to contact us officially? And two, why haven't there been accidents which would have revealed their presence? Why no contact? That question is very easy to answer in any of several ways. <laughs> One, we may be the object of intensive sociological and f psychological study. In such studies, you usually avoid disturbing the test stu subject's environment. Two, you do not contact a colony of ants, and humans may seem that way to any aliens. Variation. A zoo is a fun place to visit, but you don't contact the lizards. <laughs> Three. Such contact may have already taken place secretly and may have taken place on a different plane of awareness. And we are not yet sensitive to communications on such a plane. What does that mean? Uh, in releasing this interview with the Lemore uh, Advanced... Uh, the, the Lee Moore Advance, we are well aware that many readers were, will certainly raise an eyebrow or two, but Major Kilpatrick insisted 
The above chapter in the text is not a fairy story. At the end, he seemed to go along with the recommendations of the physics textbooks, textbook, which advises Air Force officers as follows. The best thing to do is keep an open and skeptical mind and not take an extreme position on any side of the question. Be astonishing, isn't that? Wow. I, had a, I have a copy of the original textbook. The chapter. I'll find it for you somewhere. This is what's fascinating to me. Such contact may have already taken place secretly and may have taken place on a different plane of awareness. Yeah. And we are not yet sensitive to communications on such a plane. What does that mean? It's just an Air Force textbook, dude. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. 50,000 credible sightings they're citing. And this is in 1966, 19- I think, is when that chapter was out. Wow. Uh, maybe they just let that guy slip in a chapter. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. You yeah. know, and then the skeptic would say, "Why aren't we seeing them more?" Yeah, because so they don't the want to be seen. Yeah. Well, it, I mean, we are in turn. We know there's eight billion people, right? And so, is it every day someone sees something? In your world, you're like, "Why aren't we seeing them all the time?" In my world, it's like, "God damn, dude! Every day I'm inundated with reports from credible people that were, you know, have been served in the military that have." don't want to be known they just want to be heard they don't even want me to repeat you know so in my perspective and i'm sure george's too there's so much of this like contact with these unknowns on a rate the have you ever asked a table of 10 has anybody ever seen a ufo or know somebody that does have you ever done that um no i've had conversations with friends though and you know i've talked to guys who've seen some things that they couldn't explain smart people you trust yes yeah not nuts i mean nuts for sure but um i mean nuts have told me that for sure but yeah. in turn i had one guy who was like showing me all these photos of clouds yeah and oh, i, yeah. Like, I get it every day and every i'm every like day. what is it and he's like i see them every day and he's showing me more photos <laughs> i go what is it and he goes alien spaceships yeah can't you see it and i'm like Bro, those are clouds. I don't know what to say here. Like, it was really disturbing. You didn't zoom in, Joe. Well, the, it's like I didn't know this guy was nuts. I thought this guy was pretty okay. And then he's showing me all these pictures of clouds. And I'm like, what the fuck? So, so there's categories of trust when you're talking with people. So you got yeah. the guy with his cell phone making you look at clouds and you're just not zooming in enough. Mm. But then there's also different levels. So you'll have somebody come and say, I was working at a military installation and there were cameras everywhere and we captured this thing come through our facility which is a totally restricted facility Mm -hmm. we couldn't lock on it with our weaponry you know so if you have like a an aerostat or something and it's got this like thermal camera and you can lock on and shoot out a tire of an al-qaeda truck at 23 miles they couldn't lock